fucking love that's staying in the edit that's staying in the edit it's all good <laughs> hello welcome back to the nevermind party podcast my name is matt i'm your host as we discussed previous many times before this week i've got draconian rain outside the b2 in norwich how are we gents very good awesome, man. Good fucking fantastic fucking fantastic lovely stuff i'm not gonna do a northern accent and not gonna piss off so many northerners <laughs> not gonna do it as a day southerner well you know norwich but anyway um so Bad to play a show. Uh, been on tour last day, last night of the tour. How's tour been? How are you feeling? What's what's going on? Solid. I'm gonna sort of just walk hung over. Hung over. It's, it's, it really has exceeded expectations because we've not played a lot of shows. Yeah, we're quite new. Obviously, yeah. online things have been going quite well, but it's our first actual run yeah, yeah, in yeah. most diff- in any different cities really. Yeah. So it's been yeah, the turnout's been great, and that has been a great response. It's been cool. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And with existentialists, which I did say first time, lovely, lovely job. Um, how how was um? I'm not gonna ask you to slag them off. But how are the boys? Are they all right? Are they good? Are they a good band to play play with? Absolutely, <laughs> absolute reprobates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's been good. La- last night was uh, the first full like p- proper good night out, and I really got to know the yeah, He yeah, says that that was wild. the only night that I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, last, last night I was slightly out of hand, but um, we went out, yeah, out. yeah, we went out. out. Went out, out. For anyone out, who's out. not in born in the nineties, you're not going to know what that is because <laughs> yeah. no one goes out anymore. <laughs> um, eternal tragedy. Eternal tragedy. Have I got that right? Tragedy eternal. Tragedy eternal. Tragedy eternal. <laughs> 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 Nearly. I haven't got my notes in front of me. The words were there. Yeah, there we go. Um, how's the reception been to the EP and things? How's how's it been? Decent, man. We don't know yet because we've been on tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've had a few few comments on the YouTube, but yeah, we've been pretty busy. But it seems to be seems to be good. We've got playlisted on Spotify and stuff. So oh, amazing, nice. That's always a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Number, numbers are looking good for the initial yeah. release and that. But yeah, yeah. So it's a good start. Well, that's the thing. It, the one thing you don't want is indifference, just in general. Because if it's really, if you're getting like, oh, I love this, amazing, great. If I fucking hate this, you're doing something right as well. You're pissing off the right people, you know? <laughs> we do seem to do both those things. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Create your own path and all the rest of it. You only need two people for a party. That's why I say. So it's all good. And um, t- tonight will be a party. Because is this your first time in Norwich, just in general? Or? Yeah, yeah, first time yeah. Yeah, 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 it's our first show, yeah. How, how have you have you been around to have a look and things, or have you just literally driven straight here? I What's went, the? I just went down the road to the pub. Um, it was lovely. Yeah. We had some nice food there. Add some chips and curry sauce. <laughs> well <laughs> northern, <Fantastic>. well northern. <laughs> went to the nicest place to get the best chips and curry yeah, sauce. Yeah. Well, I had a burger as well. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Um, we walked past an Aldi or two, so yeah. It's, it's a fine city. <laughs> that is very true. Written on the sign and everything. <laughs> But it's fine because, you know, we're all inbred a little bit, but you know what, it's fine, it's all good, it's all good. But, um, yeah, so, obviously the show is going to be good, I'm sure. I mean, um, my other half behind the camera is a massive fan and she's trying to fangirl out, so I'm going to point her out and go and make that, so she's going to be cool. But, um, yeah, what is your kind of opinion, right, because there's a lot of people saying in the press about, oh, rock is dead, metal is dead, fucking Gene Simmons are like, multi-billionaires and all the rest of it. What is your opinion being on the ground and, and on, on the on the floor, if that makes sense. Uh, I think um, there's definitely a, a lack of really huge new mm. metal and rock bands coming through, like the likes of you know Metallica, Slipknot, Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, sort of size. But for underground stuff, there's definitely a lot of metal bands uh, that are coming up all the time, getting great reception, and definitely with the younger generation that are getting into alternative music. Um, the sort of lines between genres are definitely getting blurred. A lot of like the trap metal stuff and kids that are into hardcore and hip hop and metal and stuff. So I think there's a lot of stuff for everyone. And with bands like Knock Loose playing Coachella and which is mad. Yeah. I love that. It's so fucking good. There, there's definitely a lot of heavy music in the mainstream. And, yeah. Um, I definitely think maybe mainstream rock might be suffering, but I wouldn't know because I don't really yeah. pay attention to it. Well, the, for me, the fact that there's bands on Radio One now, mm-hmm. that, yeah, yeah, you know, didn't happen before. You listen, bring the Horizon Architects. They're on Radio One. Yeah in the morning at nine o'clock in the morning yeah. that's you know that's that shows what's heard of really, it's, it's, it? it's, and that's, you know shows a lot of potential in the future really. yeah absolutely i wanted to ask how are you feeling before the show are you kind of loose how are you feeling are you kind of excited or I'm full of kebab. Relax. Full of, this is the thing. Be- before before we started, you guys went to the ke- to the kebab or wherever and got through. I was like, fuck. I mean, I've never played a show, but fuck playing a show before while having like I do it on an empty stomach, then have it. But you guys are the complete opposite. 
can, cannot play hungry. Yeah, That's even yeah. worse. <laughs> I, 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 I can't do a lot. How are we um, feeling? Uh, well, Kelsey in, isn't feeling that great, are you? Well, as I mentioned, yeah, it was a big night out with the ex uh, existentialist lads last night, and I've been a bit ropey. So I've just about drank myself sober. Yeah, I'm, I'm now feeling on a better level, so yeah. I'm, 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 I'm more confident. Yeah, I'll be sound. I'll be sound. So oh, it'll be cool. Yeah. I was in bed by 10 last night because <laughs> I take it seriously. <laughs> yeah. The night before he's out to what time? <laughs> yeah. I was out yeah, till six the night before. <laughs> yeah. On shrooms. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, one thing that I like to ask bands, right? In So in a non, like there's no financial restrictions, there's no uh, logistical constrictions. What would you like to have on your dream tour as a dream rider request, right? So I'll give you an example. I had uh, Matt from August Band Right on, and he said he wants a full like RC monster truck setup. We had people saying they want jacuzzis, they want like a fucking roller coasters. What would you have in a dream world? I don't There's... think I could say. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because what I, what I will say to save to save you, what I will say is if you go back to the first, <laughs> if you if you go back to the first podcast of the year, which I'm not going to name, because I keep name dropping him, and he's really probably going to hate me for it. But he said, "Can I have weed?" And I was like, "You've said it now." And he was like, "Ah, oh, it's fine." So don't worry, it's cool. Drugs are fine. Keep worrying. <laughs> that's a lot better than what he was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, keep your fun. You're good. I, 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 like some, I like some sort of yeah, some sort of P Diddy party backstage. Yeah. P Diddy party. You can take that as you want. That's good. I like that. Are Anybody like else? <laughs> Do you think uh, it's like a spa. Yeah, I was a spa. 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 That was exactly yeah. what I was thinking. As soon as you said jacuzzi, I was like, yeah, no, we need we need jacuzzi. sauna, steam, yeah. everything. Yeah. Box, yeah. For, yeah. box full of puppies. Some a box full of puppies. <laughs> they nice. are allowed. <laughs> they're allowed out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is some weird. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. 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 Really tight. Yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> tightly okay. trapped boxed up puppies. No, no, and a bunch of very cute puppies that I can sit with and fuss. Love that, love that. It's getting so, <laughs> so um, the existentialist guys mentioned saying they want us M and M's, right? Which got me thinking. Which it's kind of it's kind of a debate, right? About what is the favourite or the best chocolate bar, and it always divides people. So I like to know if you have a think. What is your favourite? I'm going to go with mine, and I'm going to go with. Oh, see, I put myself on the spot now. I'm going to go with the Galaxy of some description. I agree. Galaxy smooth. Galaxy smooth. All day. Oh, I was going to say the same. I agree. If anyone says Star Bar, I'm checking your hard drives. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, it, it, yeah. Odd dope. choice, but Galaxy probably a dime bar. Dime bar, nice, yeah. a bit rogue, I like Still it. Little, but they're, yeah, they're, they're oh, the best. I mean, he's vegan. Yeah. I'm vegan, so. Okay, I like, we, I like a double do deck. Vegan right? There are vegan double chocolates. Decker, nice. yeah, yeah. Choice, there are vegan like a There's a vegan thing. version of each chocolate, so I guess I'll go back to what I would have. I used to like the fucking peanut butter Kit Kat chunkies. They were. They were the one. <laughs> they're good. They're good. I went through. I went. I went through a phase of just really enjoying Kit Kat chunkies, and you could tell I got a chunky. That's what happened there. Um, next joke. Um, obviously, this, there's the new single out, which name I've completely forgotten. I do apologise, but the music video is great for it. The one with all the flames and yeah. stuff, and oh, you know, the, Infernal Requiem. Yeah, that's well, the, the one. That's there we go. Another video now. See, before yep. the gates came out two days ago. Yep, that's the one. So yeah, that's lovely. the brand new one. But yeah. Told you I'm a hashtag journalist, <laughs> not. It's all good. <laughs> um, gentlemen, I've got one final thing I'd like to ask you, and it's a question I ask every band like yourselves who's been gracious to come on the podcast, and that is simply, what is the best thing slash the most favourite thing about being in a band, in your opinion? Loading out. Yeah. Loading out, nice. Is that the best? <laughs> we, we have some sarcasm on the podcast, I love that. <laughs> uh, no, well, well, no, to be beer fair, with the boys. Beer, yeah, beer, beer with, with the boys. boys. We were saying it on the drive down, like, Especially as a new band, right? It's it's awesome to be able to drive anywhere and have people turn up and know who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciation that's, that's from fans when you're at this cool. stage. Yeah, the travelling is shit, but it's cool just being out with the boys. Yeah, but turning for sure. up and having people that like or know your band and want to buy and spend the hard earned money on your t shirts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's that's cool wicked. when people care about that's nice. what you can shake your band after the gigs as well. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah, makes yeah, it feel yeah, all yeah. worthwhile yeah. when, yeah. You, like, say, you meet someone in a different yeah. city and they're yeah. so excited yeah. to see yeah. you yeah. as if yeah. you're like, 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 say, we were all kids and we've all been in that position where you meet band, like, you see your bands and that, that you're all uh, excited about. But when you've got yeah. people doing that to you, and it, it yeah, it's yeah. really the best part is the validation. Tell me I'm good, please. Literally me every day. Love that. Love that. That's enough of me. Yeah, I save that for my counselling when I get back. <laughs> so, I love it. Um, thank you very much, guys, for your time. Enjoy the show. We're gonna fucking smash it, I'm sure. Um, I guess right. check out all the socials and stuff. It's the best place to find you guys and yes, and what's going on. What is ahead? Essentially, uh, after tonight, obviously the last night of the tour and things. What's ahead? If you can talk about it, we can. Um, we've got Unearth Festival. Festival in Derby, Tech Fest in Newark. 
back with suffocation Charles Green and Bonapasiris. Yeah, so yeah. name drops. Stuff. Then Mangata, Mangata, Mangata with Heart of a Coward, Fall in the Brawl in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. we're playing with Asaya and Necrotted. Necrotted. Yeah. And then we're Where's trying to sort some other Oxford. stuff. Oh, Rabid Fest in Oxford. Lovely lots stuff. Of, lots of yeah, like little lots of all day festivals, festivals and stuff yeah. over summer. Probably, maybe another run it. We're trying to, year. trying to sort a tour out at the moment, but to yeah. be to be confirmed. To be confirmed. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much, gents. It's been a fucking pleasure. Thank you, yeah, sorry, it's been a bit of a car crash. I am a car crash <laughs> in this podcasting game, but thank you. I appreciate it. Been delightful. Lovely stuff. Fantastic, man. Thank thank you lovely very stuff. Much.